In this video, I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough of setting up a, a Infinity Free hosting account. Infinity Free is a free hosting service that provides pretty what looks like pretty professional hosting, um, except it is free. So I have already created my account. I am on the Infinity Free hosting homepage. I'm going to go into the client area. And here I have a list of my hosting accounts. So I could have more than one domain. However, I have one. I'm going to click Manage. It brings me to a page with both my cPanel and hosting information. Uh, actually, having cPanel is great because if I ever switch to a paid service like GoDaddy, Media Temple, A2 Hosting, um, they likely use something similar to cPanel as well. So it's very similar to a paid hosting account. So I'm going to first log in to my FTP. So I have created a site here and I can connect. Okay. So here is my remote space. I'm going to go to into HD docs and this is where I can upload my file. So I'm going to delete the default files here. And then I'm going to go back and go into my cPanel. What I'd like to do is create a MySQL database, create a PHP script that pulls some sort of content from the database into the page just to see if that process is as smooth as it would be on some sort of paid hosting. So I'm going to scroll down here and let's make a database. So I'm just going to call it Sandbox. Okay, and it provides me with a username and password. The password is the same as my control panel. Let's go into PHP and my admin and add some database content. So I'm going to create a table called colors and we'll give it three fields. And in my colors, I'll create a column called ID, name, and RGB. And this one will be character data. And I'll set this to my primary key. And let's insert a couple records here. So we'll just go with red. and green. Okay, next let's create a PHP file. So I have a file here called intro um, already with a database connection, um, some PHP, a query fetching all our color information, and some code outputting our colors. Uh, however, the one piece I will need to change is this data. So if I go back to my cPanel, most of that is available right here. So the database name, the database username, the host, and my password, which is actually my control panel password. So let's just go back to my panel here. Paste that in and save. Go back to FileZilla, upload my sample code. And now I want to view my web page. So if I go to my domain name here, and add slash intro.php, there is my page. So that was quite seamless, from registering to having a MySQL database to having a working page 
all within probably about 10 minutes. So I would say from that experience that if you're looking for a free hosting solution, mostly just for playing around with PHP, learning PHP, possibly maybe a portfolio page, then this seems like it would be fine.